Hi, my name is Philip Diath. I work for a Cisco Meraki partner located in New Zealand. This is a series of videos on how to deploy a pair of Cisco Meraki VMX 100s into Amazon AWS into an HA active active or load balancing fashion that's fully fault tolerant. Um, refer to a link in the description below for the full instructions. In this section, we're going to discuss how to configure the Amazon AWS route tables. So we last left off having created the alarms. So now we head over to services, VPC. And we'll select route tables. So we're going to be creating uh, four route tables, two for when VMX 2A is up and two for when VMX 2A is down. So we'll go create, create route table and we'll call this one VMX to a up. Um, select the appropriate VPC and we'll go edit the routes for this. So we need to add two routes, one for the auto VPN spokes, so I'm going to add that one first. So if uh, VMX uh, 2A is up then we want to say to route the traffic via VMX 2A. And we also need to add a default route for machines in the subnet to get to the internet. And so that needs to be routed via the internet gateway. We'll now create a routing table for when VMX 2A is down. So we'll create another one. VMX 2A down. Same VPC. I we'll add two routes again. So first of all, we add our, oops, wrong one. Let's do that again. We want the VMX to a down route table. So we add two routes again. So the first is going to be again for our auto VPN spokes, 192.168.72.0 in my case. Now, if VMX 2A is down, which is when we're going to use this route table, we want to route via VMX 2B. Uh, once again, we need a route to the internet, so we add a default route via our internet gateway. So those are the two route tables to be used when VMX 2A is up or down. Now we'll add another two for VMX 2B. So VMX 2B up, same VPC. And we'll go select that route table. So we need to add two routes again, one for our auto VPN spokes. Well, for me, it's 192.168.72.0 slash 23. So if VMX 2B is up, we want about a route traffic via VMX 2B. And we'll add our default route again via our internet gateway. And the last route table we'll create is for when VMX 2B is down. So VMX to VMX 2B down. Select your correct VPC. Right, once again, we add our two routes for our auto, v first auto VPN spokes. Oops, see, we need. Now VMX 2B is down, we want to instead route all traffic via VMX 2A. And we need a default route. Which goes via the internet gateway. Alright, we're just going to do a quick manual check just to make sure we've got the, um, the routing table roughly correct. So, oops, let me change the name of that route table. That should be VMX. So at the moment, I left VMX 2A shut down and VMX 2B is up. So I'll come over to subnets. So the VMX uh, in my 2A availability zone, that's when my VMX 2A um, uh, appliance sits. So I'll come to route table and I'll just manually create an association at the moment. So um, that route table is associated with VMX 2A being down. So remember I left VMX 2A shut down. We'll save that. 
right and for the 2b availability zone so i left that one running so i'm going to associate that with the uh, vmx 2b up all right so um so you can see here so i've, I've mainly associated the vmx 2a down routing table with the 2a zone and the vmx 2b up um, with the 2B availability zone to match the status of the um, actual appliances. Now note after you do this it's possible the public um, if you're using dynamic um, public IP addresses that they may change with that change in the routing table from how it was before so you may need to wait um, a short time just to make sure the appliances are showing is up. So I'll head back to the Meraki console and from my test spoke I'm just going to look at the route table and you want to see it reporting um, whichever one you've got turned on is up so i can see 2a is quickly showing is down um, that's the appliance i've got shut off and 2b is quickly showing is up so let's go and do it uh, a test ping so i'm going to ping an appliance that's actually in the 2a availability zone so it'll have to route it'll actually route in the 2b zone and then route across the 2a and come back again Perfect, so I'm getting a ping response, so I know my routing tables are correct. So that's the end of um, this section. Remember, refer to the link in the description so you can get um, the full instructions.